it's your girl Deja K. Davis, and you know the Lord gave me a banger, banger, banger. So I am back with another video. As you can see in the title and in the thumbnail, it says, stand on faith and faith without works is dead. This is a word for somebody. I don't know who this word is for, but here's what I'm going to say. The Lord gave me this word a while back and I did a study on this. Okay. And some of you need to understand that you need to stand on faith and that faith without works is dead. So let's get straight into the video. As you can see, I got my Bible here and I got my notebook because we about to learn something and, and, and receive the word of the Lord. Okay. And I'm applying this to myself as well because we are all learning together and we walking in communion with each other so first and first thing and foremost you already know that i like to get into what words mean so that we can break this down because everybody needs to have understanding on what this is so the first thing is i'm going to put the clip inside of the screen faith the word faith what does faith mean right so faith means in the dictionary it says that faith means complete trust or confidence in someone or something right so we who serve christ have faith in god that's the someone that we have faith in right um and we have faith in something right something that god is going to do and how he's going to move in our lives when he tells us something because when god promises us something or we have faith that god is going to do something or we have a desire for something but we don't have it physically we don't have the money or something we need to trust in God that it is going to happen. If you go to the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1, it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So when you hear people say, you know, um, I have to see it to believe it, that is a lack of faith. If you have to see it to believe it, then you do not trust in God. You do not trust in who he is and what he says. I have to see it to believe it. Now, don't get me wrong. We don't want to be foolish out here. God is a God of preparation. However, that's what we're going to get into, um, you know, faith without works being dead. But God gave me a word and I want to get straight into this word. OK, and what that is, is God said somebody is believing me for something to happen, but you don't see it yet. He said, trust me, keep working. For in my word, it says in the book of James, chapter 2, verse 14 to 26, right? It says that faith without works is dead. He said, work for what you believe in me to do, thus says the Lord, or do you believe in me at all? He said, does your faith really stand? Okay, does your faith really stand? And let me tell you something. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, it literally says the way to please God is to have faith. You cannot please God without faith because guess what? If you have faith, he's going to do it because he's going to show up for who he says he is. He is a God that shall not lie. So whoever it is, whether you have a business, anything that you're trying to do, believe in God for it. Okay, so let's read. Your girl got her Bible here, and we're going to be reading in the book of James, chapter 2, verse 14 to 26. And it says in the title of my book, I'm reading the New King James Version. It says, faith without works is dead. Okay, so the first thing you must have is faith. But while walking in faith, you must do the work. So let's get into it, okay? So verse 14, it says, what does it profit, my brethren? If someone says he has faith, but does not have works, can faith save him, right? It says, if a brother or sister is naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you says to them, depart in peace, be warmed and filled, but you do not give them the things which, they, which are needed for the body, what does it profit, right? It says, thus also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead, right? And it says, but some will say, you have faith and I have works. Show me your faith without your works and I will show you my faith by my works, is what it says. It says, you believe that there is one God. You do well. Even demons believe and tremble. Next, it says, but do you want to know, O foolish man, that faith without works is dead? 
Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered Isaac, his son, on the altar? Do you see that faith was working together with his works and by works, faith was made perfect? It says, and the scripture was fulfilled, which says Abraham believed God and it was accounted to him for righteousness. And he was called the friend of God. You see then that a man is justified by works and not by faith only. Likewise, was not Rahab the harlot also justified by works when she received the messengers and sent them out another way? For as the body without the spirit is, it is dead. So faith without works is dead also. And we're going to get into um, you know, faith without being faith without works being dead. I'm sorry, because a lot of times we have faith for the Lord to do something for us. But where is the work? So, like I said, if you have a business that you're trying to build or you have something that you're trying to do, where is the work? If you want a job, right? Do you receive the job by just believing that you're going to get the job or do you apply? Do you fix your resume? Do you do the things to receive a job? OK, so know that doubt is a form of lack of faith. And I know that is natural for us as humans to doubt. So I don't want y'all to think in y'all minds like, look, sometimes we're going to doubt. Like, how do I overcome that? Or what am I supposed to do? When there is doubt in your mind, you start to combat those doubting thoughts or you start to go against, you know, those doubting thoughts with the word of God. You start to go against it with the word of God, that God is faithful. God is a God that shall not lie. If he promised me about it. He's going to do it. He's not going to lie to me. He, he's going to show up. Right. And God will see that and he will be pleased with you. Right. Remember Hebrews 11 verse 6, 6 that it is impossible to please the Lord without faith. But if you have faith, it will be pleasing to the Lord and he will do right because he has no problem with doing. But you have to do your part, which is believe and also do the work of what it is to have faith and also know that the enemy can tamper with your faith. And what does tamper mean? Tamper means to interfere with something um, in order to cause damage or to make unauthorized authorizations. So a lot of time people start having lack of faith. God told them to do something and they wind up not doing it anymore. That is the enemy also tampering with the, he's altering what's in God's will for you by literally throwing doubt into your mind. And you're supposed to go against that because you are not to come in agreement with the lies of the devil. Okay, and that is all you guys for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I pray that you guys walk into an ultimate amount of faith, okay, with the Lord and know that faith without works is dead and that God will be with you through the whole thing and that he is not a God that shall lie. Thank you for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will be coming back with more. I love you guys. Mwah.